Hey, a quick update. Um, I had my 15 week or three month and two week first doctor visit. Um, my blood work, which I had last Saturday, uh, September 1st, I think it was, um, came out terrific at um, 0 0.02, less than 0 0.02. And as the doctor explained, that simply means that it was undetectable. Anything under that is undetectable. So mine was undetectable. Great result. Um, let me give you an update on uh, incontinence and um, sexual function at, at this point um, in your recovery. Uh, incontinence, I, as I said last time, I'm using the Depends Shield during the day, which is fantastic. Um, most days I don't leak, but you know, if I'm working around the house on a weekend, um, if I'm doing a lot of work standing and, and lifting, I, I can get some leakage, but never filled up, fill up a shield. And if you, if you, again, if you look at what a shield looks like, um, it's very, very thin and it would, wouldn't take much to fill it. So um, doing very well, and that's just gonna progress and get better and better and better. Make sure to do your Kegels. I, I have them on my phone. It actually comes up all during the day and I just keep moving the reminder. Um, all day, every day. So I do it four times a day, the Kegels, 10 reps. That's all you need to do. Um, so don't forget to do the Kegels. Um, incontinence will continue to get better over time. Um, but right now, I'm very happy with it. Doctor says it's, it's right on where I should be. Sexual function, that's another story, but doing okay. Um, without Viagra, nothing's happening down there. A little bit here and there, but basically nothing's happening down there. I am using the Viagra or Seldenafil. Um, my insurance carrier would only allow six 100 milligram tablets. Um, I cut those in half and then I use the 50 milligrams for the rehab. M rehab meaning not, I'm not necessarily going to have sex, I just take one. I don't take it every single day, but most days I do. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat that you may have um, a reaction. I had the reaction, if you look up um, some of the negatives, I felt like I had a cold really bad. After about a month, that kind of subsides, and I don't really feel that much anymore. But yeah, I would take, I would take a pill, and all of a sudden I'd be all stuffed up and all that. Uh, and apparently, I won't get into it, but um, some of the same, it affects your nose and the mucous membranes and, and the fluids in there just the way it does uh, with your penis. Um, so be aware that that could happen to you, but not a big deal. Okay, so um, sexual function. Um, I, I do have the Viagra, the 100 milligram that I cut in half and I have 12 of those for the month. My insurance carrier approved those. Then I went to the, the warehouse that I think all the um, all the doctors probably send you to. Um, I believe it's, it was $39 for I believe 60 tablets, 20 milligram tablets. So the way I'm using them right now is if I use those for rehab, I take two of them, that's 40 milligrams. And if I'm going to have sexual activity with my wife, it's 60 milligrams. Um, I, I can tell you one thing I've learned right away. If you take Viagra on a full stomach, so you have dinner at six o'clock, you take Viagra at 6.30 and you wanna have sexual activity at 7.15, doesn't work as well, it's that simple. If you take Viagra on an empty stomach, 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes later, you are good to go. Um, the next point about Viagra, um, I have an erection um, hard enough to have sex, but I can tell you, and this is normal as well, uh, when it happens, use it because um, you'll lose it. It, it. You don't necessarily maintain it for a long period of time. So when you have it, use it. It's great. Um, you know, you work with it. I mean, life has changed a bit in, in terms of uh, the sexual function, but I'm working with it, and my wife and I are still having a great time. Just got to change things up and, and work with what you got. Um, but number one, uh, it's not a problem at all um, for me to have uh, an erection hard enough to have sex. Um, you can also um, climax. There's no problem with that, even with a soft penis. Um, that's not a problem at all. 
um, you know, it feels a little different, but it's still very, very good. Um, so uh, that that's about where I'm at at the three month, two week period. And again, all of this uh, should get better over time. At three months, I'm doing really, really well. So um, for those of you have that have been following me all along, <clears throat> This is where you could be at at three months. You know, if you're only a few days post or you haven't even had your surgery yet, you know, you can follow all of my videos right through a three month period. I'm doing great right now. If, you know, if I had to live the rest of my life exactly the way I am at this point, having to use Viagra, I'm good. But I'm also 63 years old. I'd want the sexual function to, to be a lot better without Viagra if I was 40 years old. Um, so uh, I'm doing well, and I'll probably post again at another time when um, I feel like I've made another, um, uh, where I've made progress and things have really changed and have gotten better. Um, uh, but again, I'm happy with where I am right now. Doctor's happy with where I am right now. My next visit is December. I'll uh, probably post again uh, either when, again, something good happens where I've seen more progress or in December, you know, and then um, you'd be able to see my whole progress for six months. So God bless. Hope you're all doing well out there. Um, and I hope these videos are helpful so that you know, you know what's coming uh, in, in your, um, you know, if your surgery is just coming up and you're concerned and watch all these videos, um, you'll see, uh, you know, you can have a really good result. Be patient. Take care. Bye.